Hey guys, Kitsune Baron here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Insurgents Randomizer Nuzlocke. I apologize for such a heavy delay on recording. Let's just say a lot has happened over time, and I'm just glad to be back in the recording game. So when we last left off, if all my memory is there, when we came across this place, we caught ourselves a wild crawdont. And what else happened back then? Let's see. I believe something happened about Zenith, maybe? I've been exploring the caves of this road. They're so interesting. I found all sorts of things. Oh, really? Are you gonna are you gonna show me? No kidding. Okay, so he's water flying right? So dragon slave that's okay. There we go. Let's see what's that chancy? <laughs> Alright, we take those. Oh. I forget that chance it can take a hit. <laughs> oh dear. What was I talking about? <laughs> oh, nice, Jaws leveled up. Alright. There's so many items. There's so many. Let's see. Uh... Hmm, what is this? Manectrite, okay. <laughs> Would this be a new encounter? I didn't see a new drop thing up the top, so I'm assuming it isn't. Alright, what do we got here? Get out of my way! Buckle, I'm the sketchy salesman. Buy a couple TMs. They would it, I promise you. Alright, uh yeah, I can buy all this. There we go. That and that. Nope. There's literally nothing else you can help me with. <laughs> See Amphret City, okay. This is where it was supposed to be Kelwreath, right? Ah, Sam, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Sam, this is Calreath. He's the gym leader of Amphitrite. How is it pronounced? Amphitrite. There we go. Nice to meet you, Sam. Before I met my girlfriend, Diana, she called ahead and told me to expect you. I was looking all over for you, too. I've heard all the stories. Kids who took down a cult? It's a bit embarrassing, really. We gym leaders should really be helping you out plan on it. Diane and I would love to join you too if you're willing. But I can help you out much better by introducing you to someone. When I was younger, I lived in the Aroma region. My best friend and I were accomplished Pokemon trainers. And I guess someone took notice. We were both chosen by Pixie Bo Pokemon. My friend was chosen by Victini and I, Manaphy. He works for someone else now. I promised I'd let him know if I found anyone else chosen by the Pixies. I'd appreciate it if you two could see him. He has an interest in you. There's a cave in the lake to the south. Just continue through it, you can't miss it. I promise you that you're on the same side. You have a common enemy and he said he'd had something to give you. Come see me when you get back. I run a gym here after all. You can have your challenge. You can get your badge, we can discuss strategy. Sound good? Good. Well, that was a nice conversation he had with himself. I'm curious though, I'm gonna head into the cave. I know I shouldn't trust him so easily, but if he really was chosen by Manaphy, he can't be that bad, right? I hope. 
It'd be nice if you could join me, though. Hopefully I'm not walking into a trap. Jeez, we really can't trust anyone, can we? I'll see you in the cave. Okay. So, first things first, I gotta find the center. If indeed there is one. Oh, there's the... Is that a basketball just back there? How do I get to that? Hmm. Oh, there's the center, at least. There we go, that's much better. Actually, how am I doing on Pokeballs? Okay, that should be good, actually. Let's see. It's been a while, but I at least remember the TV tactics. Weasel, okay. <laughs> Kinda makes sense, this is a water city. Uh, I could damage it, but I just wanna see. I just wanna see if a flat nuzlocke ball does the trick. Oh. Okay, it knows Hydro Pump as well, and it's... That's something. Dang it. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. What's down here? Dang it. <laughs> Jaws, is, Jaws is too powerful at this point. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Oh, hey, it's a full soul. 69. No, no. Nothing to worry about. Oh, there's 69. Jeez. Not the earth power. It's such a pretty place. It kind of is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got a heal of car jump here. <laughs> Alright, let's see. There we go. Let's see. Tesseract. Nice. And then let's try it again. Yeah, boy. Do I have 
have any repels on me or something? Jeez. Got a max of well, I'll just have to make do with that, I guess. There we go. Let's see this. Alright, so what's here then? There's Nora. There's not much further. I can see at the end of the cave up there. Wait. You two. Kids. Are you the ones who I'm supposed to see? You know, back in my day, you had to be an adult to go on adventures. But then again, you were adult at 14. Things change, I suppose. Nora. Sam. Those are your names, right? Who wants to know? You might want to be more careful, youngster. That answer was as good as any. <clears throat> That answer was as good as a yes. You might know of me, but it doesn't particularly matter who I am. Plus, we've been less than cautious in the past, and it didn't end well. I shouldn't be talking to you about this. For goodness sake, your kids. But I trust Kelreath. If he says you're ready, then I won't say who I am. However, I will explain what I stand for. Then, I'm going to give you a parting gift. It'll help, trust me. I work with a very selective group of trainers to guard a very old secret. You see, you're not the only one who's opposed to these cults. When it comes to legendary Pokemon, especially ones like Dialga and Palkia, reality becomes less concrete. Dialga's been known in the past to mess with time, causing events that weren't supposed to happen. But not everything they do is accidental. One Pokemon set above all others in the Hall of Origin. Arceus gathered some of the strongest trainers from all over the Earth, and even from different times to guard its most prized possession. A crystal. One with enough energy to make and remake worlds. A crystal. Like the one the Augur has? Er, had? The one and only. It has unthinkable power. We faked our deaths. We couldn't guard the crystal 24-7 and still live publicly. We were to guard it while Arceus sleeps, so that no one person could ever hold such power. I lied. I pretended I was corrupt and lost, and abdicated the throne of the Aroma region to join them. Stephen Stone faked some bizarre death with his Metagrossite. Our leader simply stopped visiting Mount Silver. We gave everything to guard this crystal. Arceus gave us the task. Clearly it was a big deal. And we failed. It wasn't the first Augur's fault, it was ours. He was charming and convincing. The crystal could be used for good, he said. The cult had to go. It was the best for Torn. We agreed. We wouldn't. But then he lost. And now, the crystal is shattered, in the hands of humans. Kids, there are forces. One in particular that I'm thinking of, that can be way more dangerous than the cults should they get their hands on its crystal. The two weren't chosen by Pixie Legendaries. Except for the creation Pokemon, the Legendaries of this world were made to serve Arceus, and most remain loyal to it. The Pixies in particular are its messengers. They weren't the ones who chose you if you catch right drift. You two are already fighting the cults. I won't ask any more of you. I just wanted to impress upon you the importance of that crystal. It must be returned to this cavern. We weren't able to defend it. Jaren has a shard, so does Rurukra, and the virus he created. Beat the cults? By all means, but they can be defeated at any time. If she gets her hands on these shards, reality as we know it could end. I digress. I didn't call you down here for di for. <clears throat> gloom and doom. Nora was wrong. You didn't join you to protect you. It stayed away so you would grow stronger in its absence. You had lost your memories, remember? You needed to redevelop your battling skills all over again. But now, I think you have proven yourself. There's a visitor here for you. An old friend. Just across the lake, it's waiting for you. 
Oh boy. Bill awaits me, huh? Do this. Are you a mew? You're pursuing it. Sadly, I can't catch you. Dang shame. I'm surprised. You didn't choose to let Mew join you? It would have been a powerful ally in your adventure. Remember what I said. My crystal cannot fall into the wrong hand and absolutely cannot be reassembled by anyone else. This should be your number one priority. But anyway, you should go now. I'm sure our friend is waiting to hear from you. Wait, hold on. How can we trust you? How do we know everything you've said is true? We've er, met a couple of people who were not exactly honest with us. Cult members. No offense. I'm a bit offended. <clears throat> I'm a bit offended you waited this long to ask, actually. You shouldn't take anyone at their word. Trust people, but verify. Good work. I'll show you why you can trust me. Come on up, though. As you can see, I'm no cult member. I'm as scared of them as you are. Time to go. Your next stop should be the Amphrite train. Keep seeing the Amphrey when it's Amphitrite. Calrith's waiting there for you. Watch out, there's no push up. Victini, let's get out of here. Yeah, he should have opened with the Victini thing, jeez. Sam, I'm not sure what to think of all this. Some shadowy organization chosen by Arceus? Seems pretty sketchy. But he had a Victini and the Pixies wouldn't choose a liar, right? I'm gonna go talk to Harmony about this. You could go challenge the gym. I'll meet you afterwards. A gym with unlimited power. I wonder. Could it cure? Never mind. All right. Now to get on out of here. There we go. Those effects wore off, that's fine. Because now... I... Where was that center at again? There we go. Alright. I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. We learned a lot of lore in this region here so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video go ahead leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel if you're new this has been kitsune baron signing off